I'm Kieran Thomas. I'm a product manager working on Teams, and today I'm going to be giving you a demo of the contact group lookup app template. First, a little reminder about what app templates are, even though I'm sure you're all familiar with it. Uh, these are plug and play production ready apps that we build and post on GitHub that allows anyone to pick them up, learn about different components of how an app works, and use as is within Teams. So uh, I, I like showing this graph on the right because it kind of shows you where app templates sit in terms of starting from scratch to build your own Teams app versus using something from that's already existing within the store. So it's uh, at the sweet spot that allows you to quickly realize value and also continue customizing it. So you can take any of these app templates, customize a name, branding, uh, change the functionality, and so on. And we build this to be uh, you know, secure, configurable, and extensible. So it's a good example code for you to start off from. And to reiterate, there's no additional coding required if you don't want to. If you don't want, want to customize anything, you can use it as it is. You, and most of our customers end up uh, changing the name, uh, logo, and things like that. And we build it with uh, privacy and security in mind. So today, we're going to be uh, talking about an app template called the contact group lookup. So a lot of our customers have this issue that when you move uh, onto Teams, there's uh, always a lot of um, uh, interactions that occur between users of a contact group. So contact groups, if you're not aware of the name, is a new name for distribution lists. It's the same thing. It's just a list of uh, contacts that you create on Outlook that you use to either email or get in touch with. So this could be by organization, by team function, things like that. And once you have this contact group, a lot of times you want to see uh, contact, uh, chat with a particular person, have a meeting, so on. And that's what this app really allows you to do. It brings together a, a simple, very simple view of your contact group list and helps you get in touch with members of that. And we'll be seeing that. So before we jump into the demo, I just wanted to set up what the scenario would be. So let's pretend that we're part of a healthcare organization that manages, uh, that uses Teams to manage an on-call uh, member list. So uh, when, uh, just to explain what on-call would mean is uh, we have uh, members of the organization who are standing by to help out with um, emergencies or like uh, whenever there's, uh, the, there's a busy uh, schedule. And you'd like to get in touch with them, but then uh, if you have a list of on-call people, you want to start with the people who are already available or ready to go. So that's the scenario that we have here. So let's switch over. And so the first thing that the organization would want to do is to go to our app templates page, find our contact group lookup template. As you can see, we have a list of over 34, I think right now, app templates and contact group lookup is one of those. If I find it, I can see a little explanation about it, see some screenshots. If I click the Get It on GitHub button, it'll take me right on GitHub. Then the home page, you can see we have a detailed README with all documentation about how to deploy it, how it was built, if you want to customize it, and so on. And let's jump into the documentation to take a quick look there. And what I would then do is go to the deployment guide and slowly step by step uh, walk through this and deploy it and it gives you a good idea about what you need to get ready before you go through this deployment so in this case you'd have to have an azure um, subscription that uh, you have access to and you may also have to change some things on the admin side to make sure you have access to the person who has admin rights to the office subscription so to save time let's pretend i went through all of this and I've got my uh, app set up in Teams. So once I've uh, loaded it into Teams, it'll show uh, kind of be like this, and I've pinned it onto the right, uh, left trail as well. So when I click into it, it'll, this is the default view that loads up. So a uh, very simple app. Uh, what, uh, over here, we don't have any contact groups uh, loaded in here, so that's why you see this welcome screen. So let's go ahead and first create a contact group and then use that to uh, load into here. So to do that, I'm going to go to Outlook. And once I get to Outlook, at the bottom, there's the People tab. Click on that, and it'll take you to the People Management. And I'm going to create a new group here. 
So let's pretend this is the on call group for, uh, let's say it's monthly basis. So let's just say it's for November. Uh, oops. And then uh, I'm going to skip the thing and let's just say uh, it's going to be a uh, public. Anyone with an organization can see it. And yeah, that's it. And then I'll create it. Then I'm going to add a few members. So I'm just going to add one of myself. I'm going to add another user. Chris looks good. Ta da! My contact group is now ready. So I, I'm going forward, if I want to manage or add members or remote, I can do it directly from here. Now let's go back here to our Teams environment and add, try add this contact group into, into our app. So I, since I don't have anything here, let's search for on call and see what comes up. There we go. The new one we created is also here. The old one that I created earlier as well. Let's go with the new one. And add that. There we go. So now you can see it's showing up. Uh, the default view when you open up contact group lookup for for myself will now show this list over here, uh, and what it has the name of the contact group, what the email address is if I want to send an email to this group, how many members are part of it, and also shows me how many members are online. Let's just try and add another one, the one that I had added earlier, just to show you that what it looks like. And if I do that, it should add that as well. Great. Now I can also pin this to the top. Say you, you have these added in here. You just want to have a few favorites up top. You can pin it. And then let's go into one of these. See what's in there. And here is where you can, it's a very simple view. You have this list of all the members who are part of it. Uh, you have their email addresses if you, again if you want to email them and the thing the key part over here is i can see their presence within teams in one clean list and uh, over here you can see chris is offline my other account is offline as well and this is myself i'm online and by clicking here i can directly chat with any of these members or if i say want to chat with more, one or more people i can use the select box to start a group chat so let's pretend I want to get one of these on-call folks on to, to come into the, uh, say, medical center. I can do that and start a chat directly, or if I can even do a meeting or start a call, any of those things. So that's uh, essentially the entire functionality of the app. As you can imagine, you can use this for many different scenarios. It's not restricted to healthcare or anything like that. Uh, it's very common that um, we maintain a lot of these uh, contact groups through Outlook, and so we'd like to surface them on Teams, get in touch with them, collaborate with them, and so that's what this app is great for. And last but not the least, going back to our guide, if you have any more questions about it, feel free to look at the um, uh, all the documentation that we have available online. You can customize the app, add new features to it, uh, learn about how the uh, architecture is built, look at the architecture diagram and learn about that. And we have uh, an, a cost and estimate page that will cover a brief uh, estimate of how much it will cost every month and other things that you can do. Other questions or issues, please feel free to post it on the issues tab. And that really sums up my demo. I would love to hear if you have any questions in the chat, but I'll keep an eye on that. But otherwise, thank you for having me. Thank you, Kiran, on that one. Really, really cool stuff. And like Luis uh, already commented as well, these are super, super useful uh, app templates because they actually show how to build real world scenarios and products for Microsoft Teams. And, and like mentioned many times, you can pull them down, you can modify them, you can potentially do adjustments, repackage them, and publish as they're your own. It is all open source, MIT license for everybody to take advantage uh, any way we need it. So, really, really cool stuff. Mm -hmm.